Hello everyone, Quentin here with Eagle 3D Streaming. We have a great video for you today. In this video, I will show you how to pixel stream locally using CoreWeave. Let's jump right into it. Now that I have my CoreWeave instance set up and ready for pixel streaming, it's now time to pixel stream locally on CoreWeave. And if you're wondering, well, why do we pixel stream locally versus over the internet? The, the reason is, is that there are many different ways to get hung up setting up to pixel stream your application. And in order to take things step by step in making the debugging process easier, we first stream locally to make sure that we have all the fundamental pieces set up properly. And then once we've confirmed that, then we go for pixel streaming over the internet. This video then focuses specifically on pixel streaming locally. In order to get started, first confirm two key things. The first is, is that you have your Unreal Engine build on your virtual, your CoreWeave virtual machine and that you have pixel streaming plugin enabled and that it's built for Windows. That's the first thing to confirm. The other is, is to go to Device Manager by just clicking the Windows icon, selecting D Device Manager and then going down to display adapters and confirming that you have this the NVIDIA driver installed. Now CoreWeave does install this automatically for you, so this should be here, but it's always nice to just double check. The next thing that we need to do is we need to set up this PC for pixel streaming, which, which means that we need to uh, set up the signaling server. In order to do that, let's go into my project and then Go into samples, pixel streaming, web servers, get PS servers in web servers and double click on it. If you see this screen, just click more info and then click run anyway. And once the installation is finished, you'll see many additional files and folders in the web servers folder. The next thing that we need to do is we need to set up the signaling server. From the web servers folder, double click on signaling web server, then double click on platform scripts, then CMD, and then double click on setup. And we wait for the signaling server setup to complete. Once the signaling server setup is complete, the next thing we do to run the signaling server is double click on run local. If you receive this message, just double check both of these boxes and click allow access. Okay, now we have the signaling server running, which is the mechanism that will stream your Unreal Engine application into a browser. The next thing we need to run, obviously, is our Unreal Engine application. Now I'll go back to my build and you'll see I have my typical Unreal Engine executable. Now if I double click this, then select Run Anyways, the first thing I'll notice is you'll see, generally when you run your Unreal Engine EXE for the first time on your VM, you're going to see this message, just say yes. and go through this installation process. Once the setup is successful, you actually need to double click on the app again to start. So I just double clicked again and now we're waiting for it to start. And you see that I have a black screen and if you receive this, check both boxes, then click allow access and we have our application running on the virtual machine. The good news, there's good news and bad news. The good news is, is that we successfully, we're successfully running our Unreal Engine application on your virtual machine, which means the drivers are set up and the virtual machine can actually run a UE app. So great start, but the challenge is, is that now it's taking over the entire screen. So how am I going to work in the VM when I can't see anything? And two, uh, we also have to add some pixel streaming commands when the executable file starts so that pixel streaming will successfully work. So in order to do that, I'll go ahead and exit the application by pressing the Windows key 
then going to task manager, going to processes, and closing the application. Okay, so now the application is closed and we need to add a few commands to the initialization of the CXE so the game doesn't take over my entire screen and so it can communicate with our signaling server. To do that, right click on the EXE, show more options, and then go to create shortcut. Once your shortcut is created, right click on that, show more, or and then go to properties. And now there are a few properties that we need to add in order to pixel stream and for the game not to display on our screen. So those three commands are uh, pixel streaming IP equals local host, pixel streaming port equals 8888, and render off screen, which obviously this is the command for uh, the game to render in the background rather than on the screen. We take these commands and we go back to our properties of our shortcut and we paste them at the end of this target. Go to the end of your target and make sure that there is a space and then we start pasting these in. And I'll of course provide these exact commands in the YouTube description so that you have easy access. But let's go ahead and paste all these in and make sure that there's always a space in between each of these flags, like so. And then once you have all three of these in, click Apply, and then click OK. And I'll go ahead and uh, close this. All right, so now we have these properties successfully saved to our shortcut. And you can always just right click and go to Properties to confirm they're there. And now that they're there, let's go ahead and double click on the shortcut to run it. Now something interesting happened. It registered a new streamer. And that is because we've now added uh, the commands necessary for the app to connect to the signaling server. So that's good news. And, but we see that the application isn't taking over our entire screen. If we go to the task manager, we can, however, see, if we go to Processes, we can, however, see that the app is now running in the background rather than rendering on the screen. That's good news because now the app is still running, but we can still work inside the VM. The next thing we need to do in order to pixel stream locally is just open up a browser Chrome, or excuse me, a browser. You can use Chrome, or in this case, I'm using Edge, and just type in localhost. Uh, once you do that and you click connect, then the pixel stream will start, which is great. Now, if you did not successfully get here, there could be two possible sources for that. The first is, and I'm going to close my signaling server, and you, can, you may see this screen that says auto connecting now or nothing. Uh, if you see something similar to this, that probably means that your signaling server is not running. In order to start your signaling server, simply go to my project, samples, pixel streaming, web servers, signaling web server, platform scripts, CMD, and then double click on run local, which will start your signaling server. We'll see that it's connected and we click refresh, and we have our stream back. Uh, the other thing that can happen is if my game is not running. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my game, and let's see what happens. Oh, not that one, just a second. Go ahead and filter, there it is. So I go to my game and then I click in task and it's trying, the signaling server is trying to auto connect but there's nothing to stream. And if I click to restart, then nothing happens. So all I need to do is 
go back to my shortcut, double click on it, wait for the application to begin running and the game will automatically, or excuse me, the signaling server will automatically begin streaming your game into the browser. In this video, we went through the setting up the foundation for pixel streaming by pixel streaming locally on CoreWeave. It's important to first pixel stream locally always just to make sure that you have all the foundational pieces set up, which means you have your driver set up, you have your signaling server, your application running, and you're able to successfully pixel stream locally. And then once all of that is confirmed, you're ready for the next step, which is then to pixel stream over the internet. And that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching till the end. I will see you all in another future video. Until then, take care. Upload your first Unreal Engine project on our Pixel streaming platform for free. To create an account, go to account.eagle3dstreaming.com slash sign up and get a free seven days trial. Eagle 3D Streaming, it's just easier.